Are you blessing him? Don't be distracted inside, outside. And you are glorious, so glorious in your way. You are powerful, so powerful in your way. You are mighty, so mighty in your way. You are mighty God, so mighty in your way. Sing you are glorious, so glorious in your way. You are glorious, so glorious in your way. But you can be dangerous, so dangerous in your way. Sing Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. Anything and everything can happen. Take your eyes away from the pains, the burdens, and focus on Jesus. Hello, Madonna. Hello, Madonna. You're the King of Kings, Lord of Lords, faithful and true, Lamb of God, I worship you, the Lamb of God, I worship you, Lamb of God. I will you, Lamb of God, I will you, Eba Shaba Lakata Brande Gedeba Lakatu Siata, Shanebeta De Branda Gadaba Lakata Brande Gedeba Lada, Kadeberente Gebaladia, Majesty, the Healer, the Lifter, the blesser, the changer, the restorer. We bless you, we bless you, we bless you. E mande baratos kadiba lakosha da brande kadiba lada maria kata kadibrande kadiba lada maria kata. 
Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Amen. Who is the King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty. anointing his wisdom not without worship not without invoking his presence in total surrender you came to church We worship you. talking about your life. I am your I am your I welcome you. Lord, I welcome you. I am your your The power of God is so strong in this place. Hallelujah. For the Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For the Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. Oh, 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 oh.
Adonai, we thank you. We worship the Lamb of God. We worship the Lord of glory. Who can heal but you? Who can lift but you? Who can anoint, who can exalt but you? I love you, Lord. Go ahead and worship, don't be tired. And I leave my voice to worship you, oh my soul. Wait, on. take joy, my King. In what you need, let it be a sweet, sweet time in your need. Find your own song, find your own words. Let him hear you tonight. Let him hear you worship tonight. Some of you, this is a night of surrender for you. Some of you, this is a night where you take all the luggages and all the loads and just lay it down. You're not wasting your time. The moments invested in worship will translate into impartations, into liftings. Lord Jesus. Take my life, take every burden, take every pain. My God, I sense such an intense presence of the Holy Spirit in this place. It's a call to worship. Many of you, even in this atmosphere, you will find out that miracles are already happening. That faith is rising from within your spirit. For the way of the Lord is the way of wisdom. I choose the way of the Lord. The superiority of His way. Whoever knew that a shout could bring a fence city down for the way of the Lord is the way of wisdom. I choose the way of the Lord. Whoever knew that a rod could part the Red Sea, Gita and Tita, and allow God's people to walk through for the way of the Lord is the way of wisdom. I choose the way of the Lord. Whoever knew that prayer and singing aloud could save Paul and Silas, that all doors can open, not at the instance of physical strength, but prayer and praise for the way of the Lord is the way of wisdom. I choose the way of the Lord. I believe that many of us here under this intense atmosphere 
are receiving all kinds of impartations. Some of you are ministers. The Lord is calling you to deeper dimensions of power. You cannot serve His purposes in the end time this way. You need a fresh and great thing. Perfect my life, breathe on me. Lord, I look to you for life. Affect my life, breathe on me. I look to you for life. Affect my life, breathe on me. Lord, I look to you for life. Affect my life, breathe on me. Affect my life, breathe on me. Lord, I look to you for life. Affect my life, breathe on me. Ah. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, take your place, take your place, take your place. Salimana kasabra nege de balaka tosiada. Take my body, my soul, my spirit. Breathe on me, breathe on me, Lord. Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. And when you have no words again, guess what you say? something very definite tonight. Ask him because he's fool. Restoration, restoration. That grace is coming heavy on someone. 
restoration. The Lord is drawing back to your life the things that have left you. Did the bones in the valley of Ezekiel not come back again? The Lord is saying, I'm putting back in order. I'm putting back in order. Everything that has left your life, everything that is in disalignment, tonight it is coming back to order. Coming back to order. Families are coming back to order. Families that have been decades apart. There is an anointing in this place right now. Bringing things to order. I prophesied as I was commanded. And there was bones. The bones began to come. Financial bones are coming. Relational bones are coming. Career bones are coming. Ministerial bones. From wherever they are coming. Bone to his bone. Bone to his bone. Hallelujah. Now I'm sensing there is, please listen, there is a very strong anointing in this place right now for creative miracles. Very strong anointing for creative miracles. Whether it is a problem with your body, a problem with your bone, you're on wheelchair, you're on a crutch, some sort of aid, anything at all, organ failure, I sense very strongly there is this anointing right now. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, inside and outside, you came for a miracle service. Right now, miracles are happening, I'm stretching my hands. Please, when you identify those people, let them check themselves right now. If you check yourself and find out that something is happening to you, I want you to run to the front right now. There are miracles. I'm sensing very strong miracles, creative miracles. Organs that have been missing, some organs that have been removed, are being replaced by the Spirit of the Living God. Supernatural miracles are happening, even by the Spirit of God. Supernatural miracles are happening. And I'm sensing there is a strong anointing for restoration of hearing. There are people who may be deaf completely or partially deaf, deaf in one side of your ears. It doesn't matter where, but in the name of Jesus, I'm declaring healing right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit, such a strong, you by the spirit of faith, be healed in the name of Jesus. And God is doing something marvelous as miracles are happening. Walk, my dear, don't be afraid. Let the power of God touch your limbs right now. Look at me, young lady, look at me. Which of the legs? By the power that raised Christ from the dead, something is happening to you. I'm seeing like fire just passing through you. First, take it easy. Any other person with your crutch or something, just lift it up. Lift it up right now and try walking. Lift it up right now, whether you are inside. Whether you are outside, I want you to lift it up in the name of Jesus Christ. Lift it up right now. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. I'm seeing the vision of a woman who came here with a sick child. There's another wheelchair there. Come, walk. Come. 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 Come, walk. Walk, sir. Lift it up, walk. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. If there's any other wheelchair, lift it up or, or crutch or whatever, lift it up. In the name of Jesus. There is a woman who came here with a child, a sick child. Your child? What is wrong with the child? Come. How old is your child? Huh? He and four months. What's his name? Her name is Sochine. Oh, her name. Yes. It's a she. Can I pray for her? Yes, you can. Father, in the name of Jesus, I saw this in my vision, and I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit. You can even see she had to pull up the clothes of the child. 
No shadow you will light up, mountain you will climb up, calling after me. In the name of Jesus Christ, let there be miracles right now. Please help us. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, help her by the power of the Holy Spirit. There's a miracle here. In the name of Jesus Christ, let there be a supernatural miracle by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'm seeing someone, you cannot lift your hand. I don't know if the hand is broken, fractured, or, or maybe it's just not working. Please lift it now. Lift it now. There's someone, you cannot lift your hand. Check yourself and come now. Miracles are happening here. Lift it now. Look at that. Lift it. Don't worry. Don't be afraid. Just, just do what I'm asking you to do. Lift it. Check yourself. You cannot lift your hand. I'm seeing this by the Spirit. And there are miracles that are happening we're going to be seated shortly, but you couldn't lift your hands. Please help them so they are not to... Look at this. Let her come. Lift it up, madam. Lift it up. Don't be afraid. Are you seeing what God is doing? Lift it up. Looks like a stroke or something. Koinonia, is this how you celebrate miracles? <laughs> Hallelujah. He could not walk before. Walk, yeah, sir. Go. Do work. Now he's walking. Oh, he came here on a stretcher. Yes, sir. Walk. This is the that brought him. Walk. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. How long? How long? I left him. I went to my room. The next day, he could not talk. He could not stand. He could not. So you see, like come. Let him come. You can see that this is. Please let him come. You can see that this is not sickness. This is witchcraft. That you get up in the morning and the man could not help you. He says something. Give him. Could not eat. Could not do anything like a dead person for close to two months. He was. He was on the. How did it? Completely could not walk. Completely could not walk. Could not do Daddy, on his own. you believe in Jesus. Run. Don't just walk. Run. Don't worry. Go ahead. You, could not you couldn't raise his hand, but lift now you can do it very well. Lift it down, up, down, up, down. The Lord heal and perfect her in Jesus' name. What happened to him? He, said, he has swollen legs that he couldn't stand. But you, was not, he could you, stand. you could not stand. Give him the mic. Whether English, whatever language, go ahead. I cannot. By, I cannot walk. I can, I cannot even, I what's, cannot, what's wrong with what them? Is what that a miracle? What happened to him? Your child has a problem. You should bring it forward. What is wrong with him? He cannot speak and he can't stand straight. Okay, we're going to pray for them. He cannot stand straight. Yes, Hold on, sir. just a moment. Marvelous. Can you hear me? In the name of Jesus. Marvelous, look at me. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. Two of you, don't cry. Come. Son, look at me. Look at me. Walk. Come. Follow me. Come. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, you see, let me tell you something. 
If you think miracles are stage managed, please think again. Not everybody. You can see these kinds of situations, people who just come. Most of these things, listen to me, most of these situations are not medical conditions. This is witchcraft. Are we together? Who is miracle? Miracle. I'm hearing the name miracle. Who is miracle? What's his name? His name is Miracle. Are you together? Huh? My hand has been stiff for some time. Your hand has been stiff? Yes. Madam? Say in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I receive life. I receive to life. This hand. To this hand. Right now. Right do now. everything I ask you to do. Look at me. Lift it up. Down. Lift it up. Down. Lift it up. Down. Lift two of them up. Down. Lift it up. Lift it up. Down. Lift it up. Down. Listen. You see, brothers and sisters, let me teach you something. These things are not the doing of men. Once the anointing and the grace for certain dimensions are there, you must open up your heart and believe. This is unto the glory of the king. It's not just to show that a man is powerful. Are we together now? There are things that money cannot buy. I'll pray for you. Please, if I don't mention your case, don't come out. Look at this boy's hand. Look at this. You can see that this is, this is a demonic thing. What, where are you coming from? What happened to him? It's fire, oil. Oil poured on him. Yes. What's your name? Miracle. Oh, you are the miracle. Yes, sir. And it has refused to heal? Yes. Huh. There is somebody here who has like an ulcer, a severe wound on your leg that has refused to heal. Please come quickly. Just that person. Come. Come. I just want to minister to that person. This is what I'm seeing in my vision. In the name of Jesus, my friend, let there be healing over this demonic condition. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Complete healing. In Jesus' name. Where is that person? Is there someone like that? Hold on, please. Hold on. Where is it? I've got a message from the Lord. Hallelujah. A message unto you, I bring. How long has this been, madam? How long? One year. One year. Yes. And, it, and it, what it has refused to heal. Who else has that? There's someone with that condition. I mean, it, it, like, like a wound, like an ulcer. I'm not talking of a small wound that you just injured yourself, maybe playing football. A serious wound that is a demonic situation. This is what I'm seeing. Please help us. Is this mic working? Or look for another one, please. I've had this for getting to maybe um, 28 years. That 28 is, years? What is that? I don't know. Like, I have no idea. It's just a bad wound. You can't walk? No, I can't walk, but it's just, like, it's just been on my leg. Like, it won't go. The, the doctors have tried, and I've just had it like that. Like, I don't know how it appears. Well, I'll pray for you, but this is not really in the name of Jesus Christ. The son of the living God. I'll pray for all of you. Huh? Madam? This thing. Help her. Is there, who is holding the mic? Please, you hold it. These gentlemen are not doing a good job here, please. I knew my I grew up with this. She grew up with this challenge. Don't cry. Oh, you grew up with this. It smells. It has refused to It be. smells. Oh, look at a wonderful lady like this. And you can see how demonic and wicked the devil is. 
What do you mean it smells? Hold my hands, my dear. Hmm. Let it be over now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. Look what is happening to her. I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm seeing something come out of you. In the name of Jesus, let it leave you forever. It's a very deep, I can see it almost like it's rotting. Now, be gone. In the name of Jesus Christ. Madam, let it be gone forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, let it be gone right now. This demonic thing, it will go back to hell where it came from. In the name of Jesus Christ. And for every healing and every miracle here, who is this gentleman? He said for 12 years now. For 12 years. 12 years. What is wrong? Oh, can you, can you see the legs? It has refused to heal. Have you gone to the hospital? Yes. Where are you from? From Cross River State. Cross River. And you can walk with it? Yes, but it's painful. But it's painful. Can I pray for you? You see, the church is a solution center. Out of him now! Out! My friend, the name, stand up. Run. Go. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Look at this. Any pain, check yourself. Look at, he's stamping this now. You see, let me tell you this. Most, I'm going to be praying right now. Do you know do you know the reason why? Now, I've heard people say a lot of things. I'm, I'm not here to create. Um, I love the body of Christ and we are sent to the body. I'm not one person who tears down people. But I have, respectfully speaking, a word of advice generally for ministers of the gospel. And I say this by the privilege of the election of grace. Whatever you do not understand, sustain the intelligence to stay where you are called rather than speaking in an unwise way over what you do not understand. You see, the Bible says we see in part and we prophesy in part. Are we together now? And there are many people who, for instance, and I say that I have profound respect for the body of Christ, everyone, fathers of faith, contemporaries, mentees and sons, subordinates, everyone. But we have to be careful we, we, we cannot carry the limit of our spiritual understanding and make that the standard for the body of Christ. We are going to destroy the body of Christ. We must all together, as men of God, admit that we are still students in the school of the Spirit. And let's be careful so that what you criticize today may not be what you need tomorrow. Are we together? And one of those issues is this issue of the influence of spirits over people. Now, there's no time tonight to begin to teach you the operation of demons and why they seem to be responsible for this. If you want to know why many cases of sickness are in the earth, you have to know who demons are and how they came. Are we together now? Demons are not fallen angels. No. Fallen angels are not demons. No. Are we together now? Yes. Fallen angels are not demon spirits. Demon spirits, listen to me. The Bible says when these fallen angels came, the Bible says they had intercourse with the daughters of men. Is that true? And they gave birth to a species of people that were half men and half something else. After the flood of Noah, Everything that was alive died. Now, when human beings die, those who are righteous go to heaven. Is that true? 
those who are unrighteous, they go to hell. Is that true? These fallen angels who perform this treason and sin by sleeping with the daughters of men, leaving their original estate, the Bible tells us they have been bound in everlasting chains. They are alive, but they are not in this location. Are we together now? That means it is not necessarily them afflicting people. Now, this disembodied spirit that were the product of these fallen angels and women, when they die, where do they go to? Because they can't go to heaven, they can't go to hell. They are still rotating around the earth. These are the spirits that need human bodies to function. Are you seeing that now? And they are very old. They are not new. There is none being created and new. They have been very old. They are so in need of bodies that a legion could manage one body. The madman in Gadara. One legion, they were crying for accommodation. When Jesus Christ was going to rebuke them, they prayed and they said, now you want to inconvenience us. And they had to make do with pigs and make people to lose their businesses. Demon spirits can and do find access to the bodies of men. It is possible for multiple spirits to coexist in the bodies of an individual. I'm saying this because behind many of the challenges of people like you'll be seeing now are demon spirits now. That does not mean the people are possessed. If they are in Christ and they are believers, possession is not the only, the only demonic influence that spirits can have over people. There is manipulation and control. There is witchcraft. There is deception. It's the weather. But when a demon spirit enters that situation, um, what's the drug for malaria? Cannot solve it now. But when a demon spirit gets involved with that headache, you can say, my head, my head, and still die. That one is not headache again. But the Bible says, wherefore God has so highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name. Some of the miracles here that you see, and you know, sometimes... We have to be careful to not commonize miracles and the power of God. You can see and hear certain things too frequent that you just laugh over it. Every manifestation of the power of God is proof that He's alive. And let me tell you one thing I know with the Holy Spirit. When you pay attention to Him and refuse to get familiar with Him, you will see more of His power and His grace in ever-increasing dimensions. Are we together? Therefore, we pray right now that every miracle and everything that has happened here, whether healing, have, have I prayed? Please come, darling. Have I prayed? Anyone who have not prayed for, let me just touch them. I decree and declare, let there be perfection over them in the name of Jesus Christ. Supernatural perfection. I will pray for them, both of them right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Perfection over these legs. Now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I bring you life. I bring you healing. I bring you life even by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Baba, healing for you forever. My dear sister, this healing remains permanent. In Jesus' name. Let's celebrate Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Was he? Please sit down. Please sit down if you can. God bless you. We didn't even have time to greet ourselves. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to our miracle service for the month of October. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Apologies to have started without any salutations. It's just that sometimes this, the hand of God just wants to step in and bring supernatural solutions for people. Thank you for all of you who are here, all the overflows. Thank you so much. And thank you for the many who are connecting from across the nations, Europe, America, um, Africa, and every other part. The Lord bless you. And God will do us good in Jesus' name. Let me just honor the two great men of God. First, um, Pastor Felix Bamirin from the U.S. God bless you. Thank you. So good to see you. Hallelujah. 
And then I'd like you to please honor a great man of God and his dear wife, Bishop Okudeli, and his precious wife. Thank you. Thank you. Is this the best you can do, Koinonia? Thank you. Hallelujah. The church remains a solution center as far as the needs of men is concerned and as far as the purposes of God, the advancement of the kingdom is concerned. The church is not a nuisance to civilization. The church is not anti-advancement because many people look at the church as though we are a religious inconvenience to people as though without us people would make tremendous progress as if our presence has impeded the advancement of people maybe there might be a few misrepresentations here and there in the church that may have justified such statements but generally based on the authority of scripture the bible calls us the light of the world the bible calls us the Salt of the earth. Hallelujah. The Bible also calls witnesses according to Acts chapter 1 and verse 8. It says that when we receive the Holy Spirit, we are made witnesses. And we've been taught here that a witness is a validator of a claim. There is no need for a witness until there is a contention. When you contend in the court of law as to the validity of a statement, then you are asked to bring in a witness and that every witness has an evidence your evidence is your token of truthfulness it is that which gives you the credence to defend whatever it is that you're defending hallelujah praise the name of the lord and for us in this kingdom the supernatural please listen carefully the supernatural and the miraculous is our witness. That means that we demonstrate the validity of Jesus, his being alive, his being exalted, his being enthroned through and by the manifestation of miracles, signs, and wonders. According to scriptures, the, the, the authorized instruments of validating Christ. And validating the reality of his reign, his person, his dominion is the miraculous. Hallelujah. In John chapter 2, from verse 11, the wedding in Cana, and then we'll go to verse 23. The Bible says, this beginning of miracles did Jesus in Cana of Galilee and manifested forth his glory and his disciples believed on him. Pay attention. Please go back to verse, go back to verse 11. It says this beginning of miracles. It did not stop. This beginning of miracles did Jesus in Cana of Galilee and manifested forth his glory. And the disciples believed on him. Are you seeing that? That means by this performance of the miraculous, he showed that he was an effective witness. In fact, when you read Revelation chapter 1, Jesus himself is called the faithful witness. Is that true? Verse 23 of the same John chapter 2. The Bible says, now when he was in Jerusalem, so we see what he did in Cana of Galilee. When he was in Jerusalem, at the Passover in the fifth day, the Bible says many believed in his name. Why? When they saw the miracles which he did. Not when he told them he was Jesus. In this kingdom, listen to me, the strengthener of the convictions of men is the miraculous. When people receive the gospel, the message of Jesus Christ backed up with power, genuine miracles the bible says it sustains an ability to compel men to believe john chapter 6 from verse 1 and 2 people will also follow you and follow jesus in the presence of the miraculous the bible says after these things jesus went over the sea of galilee which is the sea of tiberias verse 2 
Read with me, please. One, two, read. And a great multitude followed him. Why? Because they saw his miracles, which he did on them that were diseased. They followed him. Whoever is able to demonstrate the reality of God, I need to follow him. Can I tell you sincerely, believers, in this end time, men are not stupid. They are not going to find themselves wasting their time in a place where there is no performance of the reality of the power and the grace of God. The Bible says where the carcasses are, they are the eagles. Now, imagine this, our father who was killed now. Completely paralyzed from this demonic thing And in a moment he's been healed Do you know what will happen when this man goes back home? Imagine that you laughed at him And said go to that your place And then he returns back walking That is already a sermon Is that true? They followed him because they saw the miracles which he did on them that were diseased. I will continue to emphasize that this gospel that we have been given is not just a message like a lecture. The gospel was supposed to be backed up with power. Power to change, power to restore, power to transform, power to lift, power to make. That when people sit under the influence of the gospel, certain things should happen to them. They should not only be saved as far as their eternal destiny is concerned, but even while they are on earth, the power to transform, the power to lift people out of their yokes and their situations. Are we together? Look at the wonderful testimonies, marvelous things done by the hand of God. We need to know and we need to let the world know that Jesus is still alive. I remember R. W. Schambach of blessed memory. He would shout and shout and look at people whilst he's doing his radio program and he would shout and say, don't touch that dial. And ask them to stay because he was about to pray for them. And he would pray and he would see all kinds of miracles, manifestations of the power of God. And you would later hear that hardened criminals or individuals who vowed to not have anything to do with Jesus in the presence of dramatic, notable, continuous signs and wonders, they are broken by the power of the Holy Spirit. Do you know one thing that is powerful about the miraculous? The miraculous forces you to admit that there is a God and authority above you. You see, listen carefully. We live in a world where people have all kinds of Theological opinions as far as God is concerned. When someone who is lying down on a stretcher or someone on a crutch or someone wherever just stands up like that, it immediately tells you that there has to be a God in heaven. And if that God is truly alive as demonstrated by that miracle, then it means he has the power to turn lives around. How about someone who comes to church, like some of our dear people here, trusting God for a job, and now is having the privilege of having multiple jobs. It now tells you there is such a thing as favor. So next time you hear that the grace for favor is coming on you, any time you want to doubt, the Holy Spirit will fetch from the memory of that testimony and tear down that doubt. Are we together now? One time, I remember a, a lady who was pregnant, true story, and she was about to give birth, but it was like nothing was happening for hours and hours. According to her, now she had been in the bank, I, I said the bank, the hospital, and they asked her to even walk around, up and down. She came back, lay down again. This thing was not coming, and they said, look, it's like they gave her some time that if it does not happen they may have to induce her or maybe perform a CS and she was sick and tired she was tired you know she just felt fed up 
And I don't know what happened. She sent a text. I think I was studying or I was doing something then. And I saw the text. I just thought to reply. And then I called her. I said, what is this? She was so happy. She said, I've been here a long time. And I just sensed the power of God. I said, that baby, without delay, come out now. God is my witness. I stand before the God of heaven. I don't think it was up to five minutes. And she just gave birth like that. Now, let me tell you this. The miracle is not just for her. It's for everyone who is mocking God within that ward or that hospital. If you are also pregnant too, and you watch somebody make a call, two of you are suffering and crying and hoping that this thing will work fast, and someone just makes a call, it doesn't matter who was the other, at the other side of the phone, and she gives birth immediately, what will you do? Are you see, listen to me. Are you seeing that evangelism is easy when there are results? Evangelism is easy in the presence of notable results. Please, believers, hear me. We are, we, are, we are called into a life that demonstrates the reality of the power and the glory and the grace of God. Most of you are here now seated. Some of you have locked up your businesses. Some of you have left many busy things you should be doing. Some of you, your own assemblies. It would be unfair to just sit down and waste your time and share the grace. No, sir. That by the time you are done here, as you are going home, it's testimonies that will be distracting you. Distracting you. Distracting you. You want to rest and another one comes. Please sit down. It's good to be a good preacher, a communicator of truth. But it's best to be a good and powerful preacher. One who has both the message and the backing the message and the backing the message and the backing believe me i have with all humility he has granted me the privilege of working in this reality of the miraculous and you would think that after many years of seeing this thing i would be tired and i would get used to it every single manifestation of god's power comes anew and afresh again do you know why because you look at the lives of people who have received this thing and you look at the economic advantage that that miracle has brought to them you look at the relational advantage it has brought to them So you are here seated and business is not working, you are in debt, everything is scattered, your life is gone haywire, probably your rent or your building, everything. And then brothers and sisters, just like that, something from heaven, through a man, just rests on your life and God says, I've sorted you. And you go back and doors begin to open for you. It is true. And in case you don't believe it, you are welcome. That's exactly why you should be here. Where else should an unbeliever be? In an arena where he can believe. Let me show you two more scriptures. There are conditions for us to receive. Acts 6, 8. When I was studying and I found this scripture, it really blessed me. The Bible says, And Stephen, full of faith and power, did great wonders and miracles among the people. Stephen, full of faith and power. That means it took the union of faith and the power of the Holy Ghost for great wonders and miracles to happen. It will always take faith and the anointing. Listen carefully. It will always take faith in Jesus Christ, faith in the vessel that you will use, and then the power of the Holy Spirit upon the vessel that will be used by God. This is what produces miracles. The Bible says, Stephen, he was full. He didn't just have it. That means it is possible for a man to have faith and power but not be full of it. Is that true? There are certain vehicles where if the gas, the fuel, 
is unreserved. Certain features in the car will stop functioning to help conserve fuel. Have you seen that kind of thing happen? That's how it can be in your life. That by the time you are not full of faith and power, to be able to conserve you and manage you, some dimensions will have to be shut down. But when you are full of power, you go to the gas station and fire that gas into that car and you now see the potential of that car. The ACs are on everything functioning at maximum strength. This is one of the reasons why impartation is powerful. This is one of the reasons why the word of God is powerful. You can be full of faith and you can be full of power. Don't say I have faith. Don't say I have power. There are different measures of it. In Acts chapter 2, they were filled with the Holy Ghost. In Acts chapter 4, they were filled with the Holy Ghost again. In Ezekiel 47, there were four levels of an encounter with that river. So you might be here as a man of God, you might be here as a preacher, the head of a prayer group somewhere, and you've seen a measure of faith and power. It's time to upgrade this thing. So that certain possibilities that are not happening in your life can begin to happen. If you are with me, say amen. amen. The Bible says, Stephen, full of faith and power. Faith and power. Faith and the anointing. The assignment of faith is to connect you to the power of God. The assignment of the power of God is to, is to insist that the word of God that has been declared, that it comes to pass. You have to understand this. Faith in itself does not give you power. Faith is a connector, your convictions. And the assignment of faith is to commit God. Once God is committed, His power flows through that funnel of your faith to your situation. It is the divine power of God that does the work of correcting, of restoring, of creating. Are you learning? In Galatians chapter 3 and verse 5, the Bible says, He therefore that ministered to you the Spirit and worked miracles among you. Question, do it he by the works of the law or by the hearing that produces faith? You see it now. So he tells you how you can get that faith and that power. If I am to minister... There is something I am bringing as the man of God. I am bringing my faith in Jesus Christ. And I am bringing the power of the Holy Spirit invested in me. That is my contribution to that miracle. Your own contribution. You don't need power. Your own contribution is your faith in Jesus and your faith in the vessel. Please understand this. I rebuke distraction in Jesus' name. You have to get this. This is how the miraculous works. So, if you are in need of a miracle, here's how it works. The man of God or the vessel who will be used by God, what is his contribution in that equation of the miraculous? I will tell you, his contribution is his faith in Jesus that connects him to the power of God. His second contribution is that investment of spiritual power given to him, either by the election of grace or through his personal press in the things of God, or both. Are we together now? On your own part, the recipient of that, of that miracle, what is your contribution? Number one, to believe in Jesus Christ. And then number two, to believe the vessel that he is going to be using. It, it, it is important that you believe in Jesus, but then that you also believe in the vessel. When there is that combination, faith from your own part, faith in Jesus, faith in the vessel. From the man of God, his faith in Jesus Christ and the power of God given to him, there is nothing that will stop that miracle. If that miracle, every time the miraculous does not happen, these are the four things to check. On your own part, your faith in Jesus. Or number two, the degree and dimension of spiritual power that is at work in you may not be sufficient to produce that degree of miracle. On the part of the recipient, his faith in Jesus Christ. And the Bible here says that there is a hearing of faith. That means the operation of the miraculous starts with the, the declaration of the word, which is the basis for faith. Faith comes 
by hearing. Are we learning something tonight? Yes. The Bible says how that when Peter went at the hour of prayer, he went to pray and he saw a man who was lame from birth at gate beautiful. And he looked at them expecting to receive something. So the man had faith. He had faith in whatever they were doing and had faith in the vessels because he looked at them expecting to receive. Are we together now? And then Peter came and said, silver and gold I do not have, but such as I have, give I unto you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. He believed in Peter, but he did not believe in what Peter said. So he sat down and there was no miracle. Next verse, Peter teaches us that he took him by the right hand. He had to prime his faith. Mister, if you keep looking at me, you are going to sit down there forever. Are you seeing why we prompt people who receive to take action? Based on Acts chapter 3 verse 7. So, if you are on a stretcher and prayer has come and they say do what you could not do, it is like Peter taking him by the right hand. Because there are people who just sit down there. And the moment there is no action, there is no miracle. God, listen to me. John 2, fetch of the water and take to the priest. The Bible says as they went. The ten lepers, go and show yourself to the priest. The Bible says as they went. The man who was blind, go and wash in Siloam as he went. Are we together now? Notice that it was at the instance of action that there was a performance. The word of God comes, the power of God is released to confirm that word. Action is taken on your own part to connect with the power of God. Then the miraculous happens for you. This is true in the area of finances. This is true in the area of oppression. So, if there are demons hiding and sitting quietly, as they are hearing me talk like this, they will not leave. You know why they will not leave? Because a decree has not been given for them to leave and you have not responded based on the instruction that makes them to leave so until then there might be a basis for them to hide behind people and situations now you understand what will happen in a few minutes here now right that a decree comes by the power of God usually to come in form of an instruction even like you are hearing now and as you respond to that instruction leave the rest for God the moment you respond, the power of God like a tornado collides with that spirit. Have you seen a bulldozer bringing down a house? Or any of these, these giant machines? It will tear down the house like a piece of paper. That's what the power of God does with demon spirits and anything that is antichrist. The only thing that is paired when the power of God moves is that which has the signature of Christ on it. Once it does not have the signature of Christ, it is called power against. There is power against. Like development control can mark certain houses. And say, bulldozer, once you see X, don't ask questions. You just bulldoze it. That's what the Holy Ghost does. He will mark certain things in your life. Financial limitation, X. You see that now. Different things. Now, power of God, you can come. And I tell you, the power of God, the, the, the angels are there. It's a coordinated work. And scatter everything that does not look like Christ. How did Jericho fall? He received an instruction, the hearing of faith. Are we together now? He taught the people and communicated that instruction. They took action as touching their faith in Jesus and their faith in Joshua. And on the seventh day, they went seven times and he said, shout. Sometimes when you see me tell you, okay, shout the name Jesus. It's not ritual. I'm showing you these things from scripture. That shout is called the healer. It's a shout that is able to bring mountains down. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. 
You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. Yeah, every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome from the side. Every high thing say. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. Next time, listen to me. When someone begins to ask you, how did it happen? You can tell them there is a part that I can explain. But there is a part I cannot explain. The part of my believing God and my believing his servant, I can explain it. The part of his servant believing God, I can explain. The part of power coming on his servant, I can explain. But the part of power producing the result, I cannot explain. The Bible says, just as you do not know how the way of the wind, or how bones are formed in her that is with child, so you do not know the way of God. The, the spiritual dynamics of that miracle is beyond your realm. So don't ask me how your destiny helper will find you in Abuja. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. That, you are now entering a realm that is more than... That is not for you. You just know that once my faith connects to Jesus, my faith connects to his servant, the servant of God's faith connects to Jesus and connects to power. When power is allowed to come, there is no limit to what can happen. I'm teaching you a powerful equation that you will have to use right away. Apostle, how will my life change? You can't, you can't realize how many pages of prayer requests I put. Every one of them is the same formula that will bring it on your own part. I've come prepared on my own part, you see. There is a twofold assignment as far as releasing the miraculous is concerned. Number one is my faith in Jesus Christ. And you ask him whether I believe him, in him or not. Number two, connection to his power, you see. So when we spend time with him to build capacity, we want to be full of faith and power. Not just to have faith and power. Having faith and power is not enough. You must be full of it for mighty wonders and miracles to happen. You are here tonight, as different as our faces are, so are situations for others. It may be a financial situation, I presume for most people. For others, it may be a health situation, a demonic verdict by Satan. For others, it may be a family situation. The devil just wants to come and sit on the destiny of a family and tear them apart. For others, it may be your career. For others, it may be patterns of wickedness and witchcraft and all kinds of satanic things. For others, you don't even know what is wrong with you. You came so that God will help you find out what in the world is wrong. You are still welcome. For others... Lack of children, barrenness, yoke that the devil has just placed upon people. An embargo. For others, that they will not rise beyond certain realms or not even rise at all. How about people who lose all kinds of things? I once counseled a family years ago who, true story, that every time they receive any lump amount, once it is a substantial amount, Darkness, it looks like sickness would just blow it up in that family. From mother sick, father sick, they, they will keep having a relay of sickness. Until the money finishes, then you find out with the hospital or not, everything will finish. Then I prayed for this woman who had a young lady, a young daughter. And I've heard people talk about matching charm and all these kinds of things. And quite honestly, I've not paid attention to it until I saw a leg that actually went through that thing. When you see that leg, you know how you boil potatoes? You know how you boil yam? That's how that leg was looking. I said, what in the world is this? It was like the only thing that was left is just for doctors to finish their this and then they, they now amp amputate it and cut it off. How about these demonic things 
of objects moving in people's bodies. Have you heard those things? Some of you have those things. They move around, roam around as, as, no, no. And then you talk of strange dreams and occurrences, like someone shared here. You go to bed, you are happy, desiring to go forward, you find yourself writing all kinds of nonsense. An exam that never finishes, a hole that you never see the end. Primary school, doing all kinds of things. You are seeing yourself with dead relatives that have gone. This one is not cloud of witness. This is demons. Just help those under the anointing there. Wicked spirits that just come. Some of those things are the spirit of the grave calling you. I hope you know the grave has a voice. Oh yes sir, it does. That it can call men and say come to us. Please help them. Harash Kadibala Kusiata. And anybody here who that call has been coming over you in the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God, we silence the voice of the grave now. Please say, I shall not die. Shout it, say, I shall not die. But leave. Say it again, I shall not die. Sit down, listen to me, listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. Your reality is based on what you believe, not what your neighbor believes. Your reality is be blessed is she, not them that believe. For unto her, not unto them, there shall be a performance. Don't sit down and allow a defeated life and smile over it again. Continue to contend until victory is won. Are we together? The hearing of faith. What does the hearing of faith do? It makes you to have faith in Jesus and to have faith in the vessel that he will use. My own part is to study scriptures and be convinced to have faith in God. Mark chapter 11 from verse 22. 23, 24. Jesus himself is teaching us through the story of the fig tree. Mark 11 from verse 22. Jesus was answering, said, have faith in God. Next verse. It says, verily I say unto you that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass he shall have whatsoever he saith the rule is in verse 24 therefore I say unto you what things soever ye desire when ye pray believe 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 that ye receive them and you shall have them. Notice three important words there. Believe, receive, have. There is a difference between receiving and having. You can only have what you have received. If you have not received it, you cannot have it. Receiving is a spiritual activity. Having means that it is manifest here and now in your life. Believe, receive, have. That's the question that will work for many people tonight. That you believe and you receive and then you shall have. Because the Bible says the same word is quick and powerful. That means it does not delay. It is quick and it is powerful. Tonight, I welcome you to an experience of power. An experience of grace. And hear me, do not allow this miracle service be like any other one. No. Be very intentional. Whether you are outside all the overflows, wherever, down to the basement, outside, following online or following from whatever TV station, just make sure your heart is opened and that you can receive right from where you are. Because Jesus is in this place. We have the singular assignment of re-presenting Him to a world that is trying to forget Him. To remind them that he is alive, to remind them that he is king, to remind them that he is powerful. 
But very quickly, I just sensed in my spirit, while you are seated, my heart is just here to make the altar call now before I even begin the ministration. Listen carefully. The songwriter says Jesus is the answer for the world today. The question is man's inability to help himself. The issue is man's inability to give himself a future and a hope. Jesus Christ is the beginning and the foundation of a true Christian experience. Having a Christian name is not equal to being a Christian. Going to church is not equal to being a Christian. Hanging around a prayer warrior or a believer who loves Jesus does not make you a Christian. You are here scattered looking at me in this main auditorium and then all across the overflows, outside. I believe that someone is seated and saying, Apostle, hearing you speak, I know that I need to take Jesus seriously. I know that it's time for me to really make this decision for Jesus intentionally, not by coercion and not just the play of emotions, a genuine decision to live my life meaningfully so that whether in this life or even in the life to come, I am sure that victory is guaranteed for me. And there are yet others who are saying, Apostle, I remember coming, responding to an altar call here, or I listened to a message and I made Jesus Lord, but as it is, my life has gone haywire and I need restoration. Wherever you are, I'm going to count one to five. Across the balcony, the basement, everywhere, outside. When I count one to five, I want you to leave your seat and come here. Come and stand. If you are ashamed, sit down. Just sit where you are and allow the devil to make a mess of your life. But if you are determined to say there's no point pretending this thing, I like you. Don't just come as if you are coming to a funeral. Please stand for space. I want you to come with joy in your heart, knowing that you are coming to Jesus. Come. I'll begin my counting now. One. Two, Poinonia, are you celebrating them? It takes the Holy Spirit to bring men to Jesus. Those who are coming from outside this auditorium, please run. Run to Jesus. I love you, Lord. Keep coming. And I lift my voice. To worship you, oh my soul, rejoice, take joy, my King, in what you hear, and let it be a sweet, sweet sound in your ear. Just breathe your name upon me, breathe. Just breathe your name upon me, breathe. Keep coming to Jesus. Your name, hear your name, breathe, Lord. Just breathe your name upon me, breathe. The Bible says, whosoever will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. Ladies and gentlemen, listen to me. You are coming before Jesus, the one who is able to give every man a new beginning. The Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave. So Jesus is a gift, a gift to you. And every gift can be accepted or rejected. Your coming here, like I taught you, is your own part of the faith. You have heard the word that produced faith, and you have responded. Now, eternal life can be yours in this prayer. 
Listen to me, ladies and gentlemen. Do not allow the devil lie to you, condemn you, and make you feel that there is no future. He said, I know the thoughts that I think towards you, said the Lord. They are thoughts of peace and not of evil to bring you an expected end. It is my joy that someday when this life is over, when you stand before him, he will see you. And you stand before Jesus as you behold him in his glory. If mama is coming, please help her. Is she coming to Jesus? My goodness, look at this. You made a way. You, you made a way. The way to salvation. You made a way. Please lift your right hand if you can, as high as it can get, and say this from the depth of your heart. Say, Lord Jesus. One more time, say it. Say, Lord Jesus, tonight I have heard your word. I believe with my heart that you died for me. I believe that you were raised for my justification. Tonight, I make you my Savior, my Lord, my King. I declare that the power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over my life. I receive eternal life into my spirit. I receive the abundance of grace, even the gift of righteousness. And I declare that I reign in life. From today, I go forward ever and backward never. Keep your hands lifted. Father, thank you for these precious ones. They have come to you. And I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit that the power of sin, Satan, hell, the grave is right now broken over your life. I declare according to scriptures that you are recipients of eternal life. And in the name of Jesus, I commend you to the ministry of the word and I commend you to the ministry of the Holy Spirit. I pray that you are established and you are grounded in the house of God and grounded in righteousness. You will go from glory to glory and from grace to grace in Jesus' name. Just a final word before you follow our counselors. Listen to me. And this, this applies to everybody and those who are watching. Don't get born again and run away from the house of God. The Bible says, they that be planted. The house of God is not a cinema that you go and visit when you see a movie that you like. The house of God is not a museum that you go there when you hear that they brought something you want to see. It takes discipline and it takes diligence to be planted. A seed does not enter the ground and jump out at will. It stays there until it begins to bear root. And the Bible says, he shall be. Who is the he? The he that is planted shall be like a tree. Listen carefully. When you make, when you just visit the house of God casually, I feel like coming for koinonia today. I think today is miracle service. You are not going to grow that way. They that be planted. It takes discipline to be planted in the house of God. And then the Bible says that you will flourish in the courts of our God. Those they who are planted in the house of God. It says they shall be like a tree that is planted by the riverside. What a tree. It doesn't wait for rainy season or dry season. It, it is constantly in a place of supply. It says whose leaves does not wither. And whatsoever he doeth prospers. So I am encouraging you, not only should you come and be born again, and not only should you bring people to be saved, as, profitable, uh, as profitable as that is, you must encourage people to be planted in the house of God. When you are encouraged to be planted in the house of God, it's not just a search for crowd. You should know that by now. 
It is a desire to have people grounded in righteousness. No student just strolls and goes for lecture or goes to school today and then leaves and then resumes after two years and then one day just does one week and then leaves. You are not going to become an effective student that way. It takes discipline and it takes diligence. So let me encourage all of us who are here and then as many who are following and we who are here, we, we owe ourselves the duty to be disciplined as far as it has to do with the house of God. Knowing that when you come to the house of God, number one, you are not doing the man of God a favor. Number two, you are not doing the church or the ministry a favor. It is your own destiny. You are the one who is planted that will flourish. Are we together? Praise the name of the Lord. So thank you so much. Aside from those under the anointing, please, I'd like you to please follow the counselors. They are waving the placard. Just follow to my right now, which is your left. All other overflows, please do same. Let's celebrate them as they go. Those under the anointing, we'll just guide them carefully. We have a lot to do and we're going to be very, very fast. Now, right where you are seated, everyone, please begin to pray. Mention the things that you desire for God to do in your life tonight. Go ahead and pray. Please pray. Everyone, pray. We're here for a miracle service. Holy Spirit, Thou art welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, Thou art welcome in this place. Omnipotent Father of mercy and grace, Thou art welcome in this place. Are you praying? Holy Spirit, Thou art welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, Thou art welcome in this place. Omnipotent Father of mercy and grace, Thou art welcome in this place, for You are glorious and worthy to be praised. You are the Lamb upon the throne and on to you we lift our hands in praise you are the lamb upon there are cries of adoration I see men from every nation lift their voice to make your glory known. Singing, holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. The saints and the angels bow, the redeemed worship you now. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Please rise up on your feet, everyone. Lift your hands to Jesus. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. The saints and the angels bow, the redeemed worship you now. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. The saints and the angels bow, the redeemed worship you now. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. 
the saints and the angels bow. The redeemed worship you now. Holy, holy, holy. Now, just two instructions very quickly and then we'll be very fast. Please listen. I want the ushers and all those who collect the prayer requests, please, if you are here, it's usually our culture when we come for the miracle service to write down our expectations in a prayer request. And if you are yet to do that, let me just give you a minute very quickly to do that. Those following online, if you are yet to submit your prayer request from across the nations of the earth, please do that very quickly. You can send it and let's collate everything right away. You can have a minute or two to do that very quickly. Or in case you've written yours, but for some reason your doubt and your fear did not allow you to include certain things. Now under this atmosphere of faith, do well to write and add because everything you have written in the name of Jesus will become your testimony. Now, when you write that, here's what I want you to do so that we maximize time. I'd like you, when you're done, to pass it to the last person, either at the left or right. I'll just pass it to someone and they lift it up so that it makes it easy for the ushers. No one is reading your prayer request. It's between you and the Lord Jesus. Once you are done, please pass it very quickly so that the ushers can have it. And if they are yet to come to your area, just be patient. Now, there are three things that I'm going to do very quickly, and I want you to participate maximally in all of them. Number one is the prayer of deliverance. What is deliverance? Deliverance is the spiritual activity that separates you from every influence that impedes your advancement. It could be a spirit influence or it could be a situation. It doesn't necessarily have to do with separating you from a spirit, even though most of the times it is spirit related. But there are influences that have refused to allow us to make progress and I'm about to rebuke those spirits and rebuke those influences. That's number one. We'll take out time to minister because I can tell you this. Most of the things you have written in your prayer request, it is this stage of this ministration that will solve them. When the spirit influences that are back of these things are lifted from your life, you will find out that doors begin to open supernaturally. Number two, number two, I'm going to be ministering to the sick by the power of the Holy Spirit. And please listen to me. If you came here expecting healing, whether for yourself or for your loved one, I want you to release your faith as I make declarations by the Spirit of God. Remember my teaching. I want you to connect by faith. And somewhere in the course of the service, we're going to give an opportunity for those who have been marvelously touched by the hand of God. And it's not just those who have been healed from sicknesses alone. Those who have been delivered even when you stand up, when you are brought out, don't just stand up and walk away. Something would have happened to you. Note what has happened to you. And when it is time, some of you can have visionary encounters even while the meeting is going on. All kinds of supernatural activities. That is the second thing. I will minister to the sick. Concurrently as this is happening, the third would be the prophetic. Even though because of time, many times we limit this operation as... I speak to you and declare over you. I want you to believe with all your heart. I have taught you here that the prophetic is both revelatory and creative. The revelatory dimension of the prophetic brings you comfort, it brings you direction, it builds your faith. The creative dimension of the prophetic makes things to manifest that have no business manifesting. Are we together now? And so, we're going to have this and then pray, and then we'll be done. Please, 
I'd like you to open up your heart and allow this experience to be a rich one. Especially if this is your first time coming for Koinonia. Let it be an experience that no one will tell you about. Let your heart be open. This is the time of the meeting where there should be no distractions whatsoever. Your heart should be opened and then you receive. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. And so I'm going to pray for you right now. As always, there are spirits that remain dogged over tying down the destinies of men. Coming to you as dreams, coming to you as visions, coming to you as manifestations, causing delay, causing hardship, causing retrogression, embargoes of disfavor resting on people. I'm about to pray for you. And as I pray for you very quickly, the power of God is going to come upon you. And ushers, please, let's, let's quickly, quickly bring them out in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, um, please bring the person, two people that are going to shout right now, loud under the power of God in this auditorium. The power of God is coming on two people. A very, very loud shout. Bring them, please. Let's pray. Father, in the name that is above all names, we have come here. You have called it a miracle service. A service where you are taking burdens, yokes from the destinies of men. Lord, there are people here who have been tied down by all kinds of things. Some of them have prayed, some of them have fasted, some of them have done everything they know to do. And it looks like it is not going. But Lord, I thank you because you have, you have been given a name that is above every other name. Above thrones, above dominions, every name that is named. And as your people shout, at the count of three, I'm going to ask you to shout the name Jesus. Hear me? I tell you, there is fire burning here. As you shout that name, inside and outside, the power of God is going to rest upon you. And everything that is not of the Christ must leave your destiny now. Right now, in the name of Jesus, at the count of three, together we will shout that name that is above every other name. And every wall of Jericho must go down. Are you ready? One, two, three, shout Jesus. Now every stranger, every foul spirit, go now. Come out of their destinies now. In the name of Jesus. Please bring them out very quickly. I decree and declare. Lose them now. And let them go. Lose their destinies now. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Lose them now. And let them go. In the name of Jesus. We're still praying. There are families that have been tied down. That nothing good will come out of you. Right now I decree and declare. I'm seeing at least 21 people. Belonging to this case. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. One more time you will shout Jesus. May that fire rest upon you. Every altar that is speaking against your family. That you will not rise. That you will not shine. It is destroyed right now. One. Two, three, shout Jesus. In the name of Jesus, be destroyed. Be destroyed. Every embargo of darkness. In the name of Jesus, please bring them out. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Never the same, never the same, never the same. In the name of Jesus. I'm praying. Look at me please. There are people I'm seeing in the spirit who have this embargo of disfavor. Now you are moving physically, you may not see it. But there is an embargo on you. People and things that should help you. Just ignore you as if you are not there. I don't know who belongs to that category. But right now in the name of Jesus. 
May that power come upon you now. I declare that a pakato koto basketa ke break ke te kata that yoke that embargo of disfavor upon your life is broken now. It's broken now. It's broken now. It's broken now. It's broken now. Hananta shada balakoto suto badakata. I'm still seeing fire fall on people. I'm still seeing fire fall on people. The Lord is, is focusing on families right now. I'm saying it again. Every family that has not advanced, you have done the best you know to do. Educated but not advancing. Exposed but not advancing. Surrounded by helpers but not advancing. At the count of three, as to shout that name, I decree and declare everything sitting on the advancement of your family. It must be cleared out of the way. Are you ready? Don't be tired. One, two, three, shout Jesus. Those barriers be broken. Help them, please, my God. Help that gentleman. Be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. Please help the ushers. Whether you are an usher or not, they are overwhelmed. If someone is near you, just help to bring them out. Please help the ushers. In the marvelous name of Jesus. Listen to me. I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. There are families that have not experienced ease. The things that should be easy. There are others for 10 years they are trying to build one house. 10 years. And it's not like they are lazy. Everything they try to do, it looks like there is no way. I am praying for you. There's a reason why I ask you to bring them out. Please help us. And ministering to them. In the name of Jesus. The spirit of retrogression that is sitting on anyone apakatos kata matika paru kata kebrendegeja right now i command that spirit in the name of jesus let them go now let them go now let them go now let apakatos kedebakata let them go now bring them out let them go now Please bring them up. Now watch this. There was a woman in the Bible that all the men in their life, her life were dying mysteriously. She was called the widow at Naaman. The husband that she had mysteriously died. The last son that represented her future also died. And while they were taking him out of the gate, Jesus stopped them and said, no, it's not over. What in the world is happening here? The men who would grant us strength and security and fortification. There is this, this lady waving her hands. That one. I'm seeing oil coming on your head, my dear. Right now I decree and declare. Be released now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now be released by the power of the Holy Spirit. Who is like him, lion and the lamb, seated on the throne? Mountains bow down, every ocean roll to the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. Hear me. The Holy Ghost is still telling me to rebuke the spirit of death. You see, you see me keep saying this thing. This embargo of the grave, in the name of Jesus Christ. If there is anyone here appointed to death, that there is the embargo of death, that you will not see the end of the year. All your family members are pakatoskata. Some of you have seen it in dreams. You lie down to sleep and the semblance of death comes by the power of the Holy Ghost. Right now, may the fire of God rest upon you and bring an end to the orchestrations of death. Right now, in the name of Jesus, 
Be delivered from the sword. Be delivered from accidents. Be delivered from terrorism. Joseph. Who is Joseph? I'm hearing a name Joseph. Joseph. This is what I'm hearing. I presume there may be many people with that name. Joseph. Where are you from? Where are you from? Please don't just come out at random or pray. I can imagine how many Josephs will come out. Now, please hear me. Where are you from, my friend? Huh? Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Out of his life forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please don't come out at random, man, so that we can walk with time. There are two of you here that have the call of God on your life. Fire is coming on you now. The Lord is saying it's a new dimension in ministry. Among the Josephs that are here, in the name of Jesus Christ, new level, new level, new dimension. By the power of the Holy Spirit, you are drinking of a very strong wine. Parakatosh Kadiba Lakata. In the mighty and marvelous name of Jesus. New grace. Kadish Kadibala. Keprokatos Kadiba Rakatos Kadibandakata. Kepros Kotos Shapirakos Kadiyadakata. In the name of Jesus Christ. Parukatos Kadiba Rikatiba Lakosia. Kogin states. Who is Halima? I'm hearing the name Halima. It's like you are from Kogi State. Is there someone like that? I want to pray for you. For all of you that... What's your name? Where are you from? Come, stand here. You are in Abuja here? I want, what do you do? I want to pray for you because God is bringing deliverance to your family. I don't know you. I don't know anything about you. But I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit, I declare that it is a new season right now. Who is innocent? Innocent. I'm hearing the name innocent. Your name is innocent. 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 Who is innocent? The man I'm seeing is, a, is I'm, I don't know if you're an old man, but I'm seeing gray hair. The innocent I'm seeing. You are wearing like a, is it light green or something? Captain? Light green. Is there someone like that? Innocent. Your life is about to change. Where is he? Come. Oh, he said, an old man, come. Please, let, let me, I'll, I'll pray for all of you, but where is he coming from? Outside? Are you his wife? Give her the mic. Huh? Where was he? His name is Innocent. You're welcome, sir. Please come. Sir, I want to pray for you. I believe in the power of the Holy Spirit. Madam, I want you to cheer up. God is going to turn your life around. In a way that we stop. No, you don't have to kneel. Please stand. I don't know you. You see, this thing is not like it's a it's human calculation. You can't calculate these kinds of things. It, it has to be of the spirit. Praise the Lord. Who works in a bank here? Bank? Anyone? I'm seeing, I just saw the name UBA. UBA. This is what I just saw. UBA. That should be the name of a bank. Is there anyone like that? Not, not just in front here. UBA. Oh. 
UBA. The Lord is bringing. I will pray for you, but I'm seeing a gentleman. It's not a lady I'm seeing, but then I will pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit, let there be increase for you. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, supernatural increase by the power of the Holy Spirit. Baba, let me pray for you and your dear wife, and then I'll pray for everyone. Innocent too, sir. Okay, I'll pray for you. Um, there is someone here, don't be embarrassed. I'm not calling him bad, but your brother has been stealing. Like, there's a spirit of theft. The house is tired, everybody is tired. God wants to deliver him now. Who is that person? This boy has been stealing. There is, if you hide anything anywhere, it's like word of knowledge. If, well, who is that, please? Please don't come out here if we're, we're serious. Don't, no, don't stop them. If, Um, if, if you are the one, don't worry, God will touch you. We are going to make... Um, um, please, let's just be sure that we are... I'm not saying you suspect he's a thief or a car. He's somebody that everybody, including him, you know that they are stealing. This thing is a spirit. Can I tell you this? Once people cannot control certain things, even though they know it's wrong, it's a spirit. Are we together now? You see how these evil spirits work? You hide money, they will steal it. They come out of prison, they go back again. I know a gentleman years ago who his mother cursed him that until rat stops stealing, he will not stop stealing. Yes, sir. When, when he gets to the prison, they don't even ask him a question, he will just go in because they already know that this guy is there. They come and bail him out. You mean all these people? Are you the ones who have... Is it that it's a challenge? You, hold on, please. Let's, let's, time is against us, so we have to make sure we, our efforts are not wasted. Praise God. Is it that you are the one who is struggling with it? No problem. There's, huh? All of you, your brothers. They steal. Now, you look at this, ladies and gentlemen. How in the world do you survive with these kinds of things? Now, it does not always mean that the people are bad. It's a spirit. I'm going to pray for you. And for some of you, let me tell you this. I don't mean to scare you. But if it's happening to more than one or two or three people in your family, chances are that you may also be a victim of it. Because it's a pattern. Like, don't be embarrassed. But two of you now, as I'm speaking, the power of God is going to come on you and you'll be delivered from this same thing now, even before your loved ones. Just believe, I'm a man of God, I'm like a, a doctor. Once you lie down on the bed of surgery, you don't tell the doctor what to do. You just lie down and let them operate you. Once they are done, they will ask you to come up. Two of you, the power of God, is. I just saw that light. Because some of you, it, it, these things, they are patterns. Help them. You see it now. I'm not saying you are thieves. I'm just saying this is a spirit. Just because it caught someone first does not mean it will leave the rest. It will attempt everybody in that family. There are two people. There's one more. This is one. One of you, the power of God is coming on you. You have to be free from this demonic thing. If not, you will be surprised that one day you will just be a victim of this thing and it will embarrass you somewhere. In the name of Jesus Christ, why are they here again, please? Any other person, even if is the person stealing himself, just stay back and release your faith right there. This is a whole family, or you are coming from outside. Okay, lift your hands, all of you who are in front here. Please, I like you to believe. Don't condemn your brothers. Don't condemn anyone. Daddy, let me prophesy to you first. Please look at me, sir. In the name of Jesus, you will not die. I'm not a prophet of doom. I'm only speaking because I looked at you and the next thing I saw a coffin. And the Lord is saying I should rebuke it. In the name of Jesus, I don't know whether there's currently an infirmity or whatever it is, but may the Lord himself preserve you. The fullness of your days you will fulfill. In the name of Jesus. And for everyone here, for the various reasons why you came out, including loved ones who are challenged in this area, with any and all forms of addiction. I don't, this fair lady, 
I keep seeing light all over you. I'm seeing the power of God coming on you, this lady. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, something is leaving you. I'm seeing that miracle happening to you. In the name of Jesus, be free now. Not just for you, but for your entire family. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Now, everyone who is here, wherever your loved ones are, who are, are victims of this, this theft and whatever it is, I declare their deliverance now. I declare their deliverance now. And please hear me. Let me use this one and pray for anyone here who is under any kind of yoke of addiction. Different kinds of addictions for you or for your family members. In the name that is above all names. That power of addiction that seems to have control over you. Let it be broken now. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. And for everyone here, you will go back and you will return with testimony. In Jesus' name I pray. God bless you. Please return rejoicing very quickly. Justina. Oh dear, our time. I'm hearing the name Justina. Who is Justina? Justina. Where are you coming from? I'm here in Abuja. No, state of... Huh? I want to pray for you. You believe in the power of God? Look at me. Your family has been under siege. God wants to bring marvelous deliverance to your family. Lord Jesus, I'm praying. What God says to one, He's saying to everybody. In the name of Jesus, over this family, the power of God is coming on you now. Let there be deliverance now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that represents an oppression over this family, it comes to an end in Jesus' name. You too, Justina. Can I pray for you? In the name of, what do you do? What do you mean construction? Where are you from? I'm from Kaduna State. What is the name of the this this Chinese company? CC. The Lord is going to connect you to somebody in that place. Look at me. Believe what I'm telling you. And go to your secret place and write this name down. Sahara. Just write it. Sahara. Go and write it down. A time will come. Somebody, a lady from that place, God is going to connect you to her. And they will lift you. Sahara. That's the name I'm seeing on you. Just go and write it down. This, this is like, this is, this is an, a company that it looks like they're into gas, oil and gas. Go and write it down. Believe what I'm telling you. You just go and write it. Sahara. Go and write the name. In the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord change your life. May the Lord turn your life around. In Jesus' name. All of you, the same thing. Let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus, one of you has severe stomach pain. Like it comes, who is that person? Severe stomach pain. Place your hand there. Um, what I'm seeing is not good. But in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare every planting that is not of the Lord. Now, let it go. In the name of Jesus, out of her now. In the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the living God, I decree and declare, let her be delivered right now. And for all of you who are here standing, whether for yourselves or your family members, in Jesus' name, let there be liberty now. In Brother and sister, father and sister, it's okay, I'm going to pray for you. There is a sweet anointing in the sanctuary. There is the stillness in the atmosphere. Oh, come lay down the burden you have carried. 
For in this sanctuary. Now listen. I'm going to raise that song one more time and the power of God will begin to move. Just for you people. That's the instruction I'm receiving. That's why I raise the song. There is a sin. Anointing in the sanctuary. There is a stillness. My God. The Lord is bringing deliverance now. Oh, come lay down. The burdens you have carried for in the sanctuary. God is oh, come lay down the burdens you for in the sanctuary. Right now I declare, let that fire move across in the name of Jesus upon every one of you. You are standing for yourself, you are standing for your loved ones. At the count of three, may that fire rest on you. Right now, one, get ready, two, three, take that fire now. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, take that fire now. For you and for your loved ones, be delivered, be set free. In the name of Jesus. Now hear me. Two of you who came out to stand here, you are receiving an anointing. Is the call of God upon your life. Two of you. Two of you right now. I don't know where you are. I release that anointing right now. Two of you. Take that fire. Take that fire. Take that fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, all those who have suffered from bipolar, dementia, and every other related medical condition, whether you are here or for your loved ones, we rebuke the spirit behind it and we declare be healed now be delivered now in the name of Jesus Christ God bless you please return to your seat please everyone rise I want to pray for the sick right now even though um, we're already on with the healing but we can't call everybody case by case if you can't please stand release your faith right now I want to pray for you please stand just lay your hands where you are trusting God for a miracle Please believe that this one, the power of God, will touch you. As we worship in your presence, there is healing. The Holy Spirit. Bring that lady. Lift your hands. Fire upon you now. Jesus, I believe. There is healing in your name. As I pray for you, please listen. I truly believe in the healing ministry. I believe in the power of Jesus to heal. You are standing for yourself. You are standing for your loved ones. As I pray, do not forbear with anything that is an infirmity. Whether it's a growth in your body, whether it's for someone, you can also stand in for your loved ones as I pray. All I want you to do is to agree with me with a loud amen. And here's what we have to do. I want us to be out of here as soon and as fast as possible. So please do well to cooperate. I'm going to pray for you a simple prayer of faith. And I'm going to rebuke that spirit. The moment I do that, for those who have been under the anointing and those who the power of God will come on, you don't have to bring them out. I want you to check yourself very quickly. The moment you find out that a miracle has happened to you, aside from those who testified at first, I want you very quickly, you can come out either to my left or my right. There will be a few pastors who will check you, just look at you and we'll have one or two uh, testimonies and then we'll pray over the request. I speak over your life 
and then we're done. I'm glad that Bishop is here and um, Pastor from the U.S. I'll give them a minute or two to just join faith with me and declare over you. Let's just stand in faith and then when that is done, um, we'll wrap up the service. Now lay your hands please very quickly. He saved more than able. In the name of Jesus Christ, please shout a loud Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now I decree and I declare every spirit that is back of any disease here, any sickness, any infirmity, in the name of Jesus Christ, I command, let God's people go now. Yeah. My God, some of you will be feeling that that fire is just coming upon you, going through your body as I'm praying right now. It's the healing power of Jesus. Right now, in the name of Jesus, be healed, be healed, be healed, be healed, be healed, be healed. Be healed, be restored, be healed in the name of Jesus. Every blood condition here, I declare be healed now. Ulcers, be healed now. Visual impediments, whether total blindness or partial blindness, I declare be healed now. Anyone with deafness, whether on one or both ears, in the name of Jesus, be healed now. Amen. Cardiovascular challenges, I decree and declare heart palpitations, holes in the heart, every kind of heart infection, in Jesus' name, be healed now. Amen. High blood pressure, be healed now. Amen. Low blood pressure, be healed now. Migraine headache. Be healed now. Epileptic seizures. Be healed now. Anyone here with the issue of blood. Be healed now. Pile. I declare be healed now. Inability to sleep, I decree and declare right now you find rest once and for all. If there is anyone having any growth in any part of your body, from your head to your feet, in the name of Jesus, wherever that growth is located, whether as a lump in the breast. As every devil around your abdominal region, right now, that growth disappears in Jesus' name. Disappears in Jesus' name. Disappears in Jesus' name. There is someone, I don't know who you are, but it's like you have something in your, I don't know if it's in your head, but some, some tumor-like infection in the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know who that person is. Let there be healing right now. I'm seeing someone's, um, your, your, your knee is like it shifts. It just shifts like this and returns back. I declare, let there be stability right now. Every kind of skeletal challenge from your head to your toe, whether it's your vertebra, whether it's any part of your body, your skeletal system. Let there be perfection right now. And for some of you, let there be recreation right now. In the name of Jesus, I'm seeing someone, your fingers, you can't move them like this. Like I'm moving mine. In Jesus' name, the power of God is coming on you right now. Right now. Right now. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, right now, 
you will begin to move it. I'm seeing someone, is it a boil or some swelling just around your armpit area? Sorry to embarrass you, but in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare I cause that demonic boil, it goes now. Now, I, I've prayed this before. God has revealed this to me. I don't know if it was here in Koinonia or in another meeting. A, a woman who is not with child and yet you are lactating. I don't know the name of the medical condition, but you are not with a child and yet you are producing breast milk. I don't know, but in the name of Jesus, I declare, let there be healing right now. Let there be healing right now. Now, God is showing me um, someone, you, you have severe tiredness. If you walk for five minutes, you have the tiredness of someone who probably has been running for a long time. You have to look for somewhere to rest. It's like your energy depletes very fast. In Jesus' name, the Lord is doing a miracle in your body. The Lord is doing a miracle in your body. The Lord is doing a miracle in your body. In the name of Jesus. Now, every other condition, whether I mentioned it or not, in Jesus' name, whatever it is that ails you, whatever it is that discomforts you, let there be a miracle for you now. Now, very quickly, please, those who are coming from outside to testify, protocol security, allow them so they can rush and come. I want you to check yourself from the start of the service, aside from those who have testified, the moment you find out that a miracle has happened for you and you want to testify, please check yourself. Don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed. I want you to leave your seat very quickly and come and stand here. People are coming out. People are coming out. Are you seeing what Jesus is doing? Celebrate them as they come. Celebrate them as they come. Celebrate them as they come. Don't be afraid. Come. Run to Jesus. Make sure your request is here while they are coming out. Please, for those coming, let's very quickly, very quickly. And oh, what joy that fills my soul. Something happened. And now I know He touched me and made me Quickly, quickly. My tame corner, my tame corner, my tame corner. Keep coming. Are you ready? Yes, please. Please listen very carefully to the testimonies and let's glorify Jesus. Yes, sir. Please help us, technical. Okay. Immediately you mention altar, the pain disappears immediately. Altar, how long, my dear? In the name of Jesus, lay your hands there. I declare perfection for you now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please, very quickly. Oh, the lady who was here, she was vomiting. That's it, that's all. Oh, come on, look at this. I decree and declare perfection by the power of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Yes, please, very quickly. Wow. Are you celebrating what Jesus is doing? Yes, please. Please help us with the sound. Is there something wrong? Please. Yes. 
swelling in your eyes. And right now, what happened? Completely gone. Let's celebrate Jesus. No miracle is big, no miracle is small. Every miracle is a reflection of the power of Jesus. Yes, please. I tried it in my hand for the past three months. Severe pain. But when you mention the case, lift it now. She can move the hand. Any pain, my dear? Any pain. In the name of Jesus Christ, every other area of your life bound, let it be released right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Let's celebrate Jesus. Pain in the chest for the past two weeks. You've not been able to bend. But now. You've not been able to bend. Bend down now. Any pain. Any pain, completely gone. In Jesus' name, you are healed and perfected. Yes, please. Consistent migraine. She had it even while because of the service. Let her talk. I had, when I came in, I thought it was because of hunger. I removed my glasses, went and got food, but it still didn't go. But the moment we started praying, after I fell under the anointing, it has Completely gone. It will never return to you again. In Jesus' name, I pray. Yes, please. Praise God. Okay, yes, sir. Pain. Yes. Okay. Check yourself. Any pain? Completely gone. In the name of Jesus Christ, it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Next person. Yes. So I've taken drugs, different drugs here. So last week when I came, I tried sending the button, so I went to this day at hand. I was tested for the ultra. So today, I couldn't see the pain. So I came here with the button, but now the button is pain everything. Completely. Lay your hand on your stomach. In the name of Jesus, ulcer, leave her never to return again. And all the effects, the heat around your body, let it go, never to return in Jesus' name. Yes, please. You mentioned the case of the main camp. She said she has had the challenge for the past three months. She could not, sometimes she would have to hold her leg. Stand up, even the rail, if I have to um, come upstairs or go down, I have to hold the rail. Wow. And then when I sit down to stand up, I have to hold something to stand up. Okay, and right now, check yourself. Completely. Koinonia, are you celebrating what Jesus is doing here? In the name of Jesus Christ, it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Most of memory, you mentioned the dementia. Case. You? He was here, he fell under the anointing and just something left him. What happened? Let me hear him. I have a severe loss of memory. For How long? For like four months now. Wow. Yes. Loss of memory, you mean? Yeah, I, I, I can hardly remember things. It's okay. very severe. But um, today I copied a lot of notes. I immediately called for dementia. I, I ran out. And when you were praying for me, um, the power of God came over me and I saw, felt something like a heat left my No, head. the devil is a liar. How yeah. can a fine young man like this have loss of memory? I rebuke that spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Yes, please. Praise God. There's this growth in my throat that comes out in forms of a daughter. As in, it goes and comes Come over again? In forms of a daughter. A growth on her throat, a growth. Okay. It comes and goes. It's over five years now. And today, I keep, for the past, let me just say, for the past one week now, I've been feeling as in this heaviness in my, like, as if I'm carrying a load. And, and, and what happened now? And I can't talk very clear. But now I feel relieved. Completely. Yes. Place your hand there. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare that demonic thing leaves you now and forever. In Jesus' name. I want to hear Mama's testimony. Let me hear Mama's testimony. Okay. Praise the Lord. When we came in this morning, she couldn't walk. She couldn't even stand on her own. The Mama could not stand on her feet. She couldn't. The third administration, she can now see. Can she walk? Yes, yeah, she can. Mama, walk. try walking. Walk. She, can now walk. she came here, she couldn't walk, she couldn't stand. Koinonia, are you seeing what Jesus is doing? Praise the Lord. Even her head was very heavy, but at, at least now. You can, you can look at this dear woman and know that the devil is wicked. You can see what he's doing. Lay your hands on, she's your mom? Yes. Please lay your hand on her head. In the name of Jesus Christ, Mama, let there be perfection by the power that raised Christ from the dead. In the name of Jesus, 
Everything from the crown of your head even to the soles of your feet, I bring you life, I bring you perfection. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Yes, please. Three years long and depressed disappeared. Completely. Completely. Confirmed by our medical Confirmed doctor. by the medical yes, team. Yes, sir. Look at me, my dear. In the name of Jesus, that also means everything that the devil brought, it will follow that lump and lead your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, now be free by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. I draw it for six years. Now, while we were praying, she just said she felt a sharp pain in her back, and then something like for mass. six years. Six years. Now the doctors have confirmed there is no mass there. Check yourself. Confirmed by the doctors. Koinonia, are you seeing this? Six years. Fibroid. Don't cry. Oh my God. Don't cry. Now, many of you may never know what this means. Don't you ever think it's a little miracle. Ask doctors. For six years. Fibroid. The doctor said I couldn't conceive. Oh, they said you couldn't conceive. Yes, I had my baby by miracle. I didn't even know I was two months pregnant already. When I had her, they had to, I had to go through a cesarean myectomy. And then it started growing up again. And I was supposed to actually go back for another surgery. But I've been so scared because the last one was terrible. I, I died. Oh, you, 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 had a, you had a surgery before? Yes. And right now, tonight... Place your hand there. Let me seal this miracle. It's truly powerful. It is so sweet to trust in Jesus. Look at this lady now. A medical verdict. You will not be able to have children because of a devil that wants to come and take advantage of her. And you'll be surprised it's because of the prophet and the apostle that is coming to her womb. Satan does not attack anything for itself. He attacks anything for the future that that thing represents. Jesus, Jesus, how I trust you. How I prove the or and or. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, oh, for grace to trust. Please lay your hand, let me pray. We may not be able to take all these testimonies, my goodness. We may have to just take one or two more. I'm seeing someone holding a crutch there. Very interesting testimony. Let's, let's shame the devil one more time with that kind of, with that testimony. And then I may just pray a general prayer because our time is gone. Please place your hand, my dear. Don't cry. It says, weep not for the lion of the tribe of Judah, even the root of David. Is he able to stand? He's able to stand now, but he couldn't walk without the crutch before now. Where? Oh my God. How many years? For three months. What happened to him? Bicycle. He fell on bicycle. He fell from a bike, yes. In Jesus' name, let there be perfection, Baba, by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, let him walk gently. And then you help him. Was his leg broken or something? Has he been treated medically? No, 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 don't force him. Don't put pressure on him at all. We don't fake miracles here. If, he's not, if, he's, if his leg is still paining him, don't punish the man. Just let him. We'll pray for him. In the name that is above all names. Baba, look at me. Tell him whether in whatever language to look at me. I decree and declare, let there be perfection over your body now. In Jesus' name I pray. God who has started these things, you could not stand. I declare perfection for your limbs. In Jesus' name I pray. Yes, please. I pray for you. God bless you, my dear. It is done. Yes. You mentioned uh, the new cases that she asked somebody that the pattern has shifted. So she stood in and connected for the person and then she called and the new, uh, the new card. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit, this also means that your loved ones, wherever they are, Whatever God is doing here, may the angel of his presence take it right where they are and let it also work for them in Jesus' name. Yes, also, his knee was dislocated 17 years ago. You called him out the other time, laid hands on him, and now he's perfectly healed. Completely, wrong. Completely. 17 years ago, dislocated. My God. Any pain? Jump. 
in the name of Jesus Christ perfection for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. You mentioned a case of someone whose hand is not moving very well. This is the woman and she's perfectly healed now. Look at the smile on her face. I'm smiling back with you. Completely. You couldn't do this? No, sir. For how long? Uh, actually, every morning, Monday to Friday, I used to own megaphone. That is why my voice is like this for evangelism. Oh, you're a preacher? You're an evangelist? Yes, sir. So, Don't be ashamed. That's a very powerful, noble. I mean, there, we have arm robbers, we have assassins. For you to be representing Jesus is a. Let me, let me advise you do <laughs> not ever be ashamed of representing Jesus. Are we together now? Yes. So I noticed that this aunt started training me. And when I came here today, it became severe. I was telling my children, I said, this thing is really serious. And right now. No, nothing. In the name of Jesus. So you can hold that megaphone and preach Jesus and preach every devil out of every sick body while you preach. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let's have two more here. We have to wrap up. Mama yes. had an accident and then she broke her hand. Hold on. Say amen to everything I'll say now. I command the spirit that is responsible for accidents and untimely death. May it be far from you in Jesus' name. According to the scripture that says he keepeth his bones and none is broken, I decree and declare your bones are kept in the name of Jesus Christ. Job said in six things he will deliver us. One of it is the scourging tongues of men. And he said that, you know, paraphrasing, that no cause will touch you because you have a covenant with the stones. That means creation is in covenant with you. They will not hurt you in the name of Jesus Christ. Not the wind, not the water, not the elements of nature. They will not fight you in Jesus' name. Accident. For the past three months, she could not be able to lift her hand. By Mama, do what now. you couldn't do before. Let the devil see you do it. Accident. In the name of Jesus, perfection for you now. In Jesus' name. Yes, please. Difficulty in, be, uh, in breathing. And also, she couldn't see properly, but now she's fine. Oh, dear. Can you imagine that? How are you, my dear? Fine. What's yeah. your name? Omotola. Omotola. Yes, May sir. God bless you. In the name of Jesus, you will be a great lady. In Jesus' name. Apologies, we have to stop right now. Stretch your hands towards everyone who has been healed, believers, and let's just bless them. Um, you can feel free to come and testify by next week. By the way, please listen. Our lines and uh, our, our emails and our social media platforms are open for your testimony all week. It doesn't have to be until Friday before you register or make us know what is happening. The media, you can meet them for direction. You can post your testimony on our social media pages. Use the email and send it to our media department. Let's know that Jesus is doing... Huh? HIV healed from 2019. Another uh, doctor have gone. Checked now. And hepatitis. Uh, actually, um, I school abroad and last month someone was healed of HIV so I traveled down here. Oh! Just to be here. Remember the testimony. So by faith you travel down. And right now, oh no, this one is a testimony. Goodness. Alongside with hepatitis B. It's also... You, you remember the testimony? It's that actually, someone was killed of HIV from what nation? From Vietnam. From I, Vietnam. I also had hepatitis B and it's also negative. Completely now. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go to the house of the Lord. I pray for you, my friend, for taking this step of faith to come. I pray for you that not only... Um, now that you are blessed, may you carry this grace and go back with it. You will go and minister to others and the power of God will touch and heal and deliver them. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Oh dear, we, we may have to stop. My sincere apologies. I bless every one of you. And please do well, um, the media or the doctors, the medical team, you can give them a link that they can register their testimonies. And by next week, please let us know what Jesus is, is done. You can meet the media department or post it on our social media platforms. Give us permission to let people know and we'll let Jesus know. Do not hide your testimonies. 
provided your testimonies do not cause any security concern to you, you can feel free to let us know. We'll let the nations know what Jesus is doing. Hallelujah. God bless you. Thank you. Please stand, stretch your hands to us here. We're praying. And with our hands lifted up, we will worship our King. And with our hands lifted up, we come before you rejoice. With our hands lifted up to the sky and the world wonders why. We just tell them we love in our King. Oh, we just tell them we love in our King. Please stretch your hands. In one minute, I'd like you to begin to declare as I pray. Go ahead and stretch your hands by faith. Unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come. This is a representation of the desire of God's people from across nations, from across territories. We are praying. Lay your hands. Stretch your hands and lay it here by faith. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, agree with me as I pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare over this request, every one of these is turned into a testimony. For those who need favor, we release favor. For those who need restoration, we release restoration. For those who need breakthroughs, we release breakthroughs. For those who need encounters, we release encounters. For those who need speed, we release speed. For those who need advancement, we release advancement. For those who need connections, we release connections. For those who need mercy, we release mercy. Those who need deliverance, we release deliverance. Those who need prosperity, we release prosperity. Those who need protection, we release protection. Those who need vindication, we release vindication. Those who need vengeance, we release vengeance. And in the name of Jesus, that everything drops here as a prayer request. By faith, let it be turned now to a testimony. In Jesus' name I pray. Please help me very quickly make welcome a dear man of God. Pastor, Fe yes, please come. God bless you. Thank you. And then you just speak over your life. Great man of God from the U.S. Just speak over God's people. And then Bishop will come and speak and we're done. God bless you, sir. Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you because you have done great and mighty things. And today, Lord, joining my faith with your Father tonight, and all of us together, we have cried out, O God, and we declare that there shall be songs of victory in thee. The shout of joy and victory resound in the hands of the righteous of the Lord. And I declare in the name of Jesus, you will sing your song of victory in the name of Jesus. You will return with testimony in the name of Jesus. Everything the Lord has done will declare perfection to it. In the name of Jesus, you will go from glory to glory. You will go from strength to strength. Lord, we declare from this point on here tonight, you will raise an army. An army of healing evangelists. An army of miracle workers. 
an army of deliverers, an army of saviors, shall indeed arise in the name of Jesus. And we declare, O oh God, together peace upon our nation. We declare, O oh God, divine security upon our nation. Thank you, glorious Father. We declare once again for all of these prayer requests, as it is lifted unto you, O oh God, all of them are checked down. Each and every one of the requests checked down. Everybody shout, done. Say it again, done. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, Pastor Felix Bamerin from the U.S. God bless you. Let's celebrate Bishop Opudili as he comes. Hallelujah. I'm so elated to be here today. You know, this is my first time of coming here. Honestly, I'm blessed. Can we put our hands together for the Lord? Now, I, I wasn't expecting to come and pray, but I had a brief vision while I crossed the gate. Sir, so, I saw an army of angels stationed at that gate. Two things were happening at the same time. Angels were distributing stones of gold. And at the same time, I looked up, I saw red, but it wasn't white, it was golden in color. Suddenly, Zechariah chapter 10, verse 1 came to me. Actually, of the Lord rain in the days of the later rain. And I will make bright clouds and I will send rain to everyone grass in the field. Now, hear this. If you are part of this commission, you have just shifted in dimensions. Now, I am speaking from my office. I would like you to know that this commission has entered into a realm of wealth and abundance. Even if it is sand you are selling, you will be a pledge man. Now lift up your hand towards heaven. Three things I want you to declare. You are going to declare the rain is falling. One, two, go! One, two, three, and so shall it be. We declare your heavens are open. We release the anointing of all manifestation. Every ancient horn that has limited your manifestation is shattered. I decree from tomorrow morning, we had a said no, they will say yes. God is suspending protocols to bless you. God will bypass a million to single you up with a unique favor. You will excel. You will excel. You will occupy the seven mountains. I never pronounce that you are blessed. When this we shall see, you will be counting your testimonies. Somebody said one more time, it is running. God bless you. Please let's honor Bishop. Hallelujah. Very great man of God. Let me wrap it up. Thank you for your patience. And they have declared, I believe in everything they have said. And I believe it will be so in Jesus' name. But then I decree and declare that this week, for you, let it be a week of strange testimonies. The kind of favor you have not seen until now. In the name of Jesus, let it begin to manifest. I connect you by prophecy to your destiny help us. They will come rushing towards you. And I pray for your spiritual life and your prayer life. Listen to me. We are people who love God passionately. In all our getting and in all our achievements, God must be first and God must be priority. Therefore, every prayer altar that is dead or dying, every word study altar that is dead or dying, every passion that is already fading towards the things of God, let there be restoration now. You will not need to tell people you are a child of God. The anointing and the demonstration of the power of God through your life will speak volumes. In the name of Jesus Christ. And hear me, for all who have traveled from far within and outside this nation to be here, I declare return. May your testimonies arrive before you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen.